Hi, we thought it would be really encouraging for you to hear the story of someone who's part of our church here in Connect Life, of an amazing miracle that happened to her just this month. So Claire, Mark, why don't you tell us a little bit about what life was like before God healed you? Around 2007, um, I went to see the doctor because I wasn't, I hadn't been feeling very good for a while on and off. I was having bouts of really just extreme tiredness and which I found out later was fatigue. So I saw the doctor. Um, after numerous times of seeing doctors, um, I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue. Um, and then that, over the years, it just seemed to add other things seem to add on um, and I was diagnosed with bladder, bowel problems, liver problems. Um, um, I spent most of my time in bed or on the sofa, um, just in constant pain 24-7, apart from when I managed to sleep. Um, and the pain just continued and actually got worse and worse. Um, with it, I suppose every seemed, diagnosis seemed to have some other pain that seemed to be worse than the last. It affected me dramatically. I uh, suffered with depression. Uh, seeing her suffer obviously um, did affect me with quite severe, sometimes manic depression. Stays were something I couldn't do because if my hips were, it would just be horrendous and I would end up spending weeks in bed and the pain was really bad when that happened. Well, it was one occasion where I decided to not use my wheelchair because my daughter was getting married, our daughter was getting married and I just didn't want it to be about me in the chair. And I just did the day without the chair. And there wasn't a lot of walking because of the venue. Um, and But it was very hard and for a fortnight I don't think, I never left the house for a fortnight after, I just, right. and the pain, and it was just horrendous. Other than that, I, because of how it would affect me, I used the chair, otherwise I would literally be in more, more and more pain. So Claremont, life, it seems, must have been unbearable almost at times for both of you, but you guys continued with your Christian journey. Did your ill health have an effect on your spiritual life, both of you? I, I, I struggled to come to terms with it full stop because I just couldn't see how this could be happening. And um, although I did continue to pray, I was extremely down. So I wasn't close to God. So how on earth did this healing come about, both of you? It was partly a journey. Um, I do believe that this, the last year he has been preparing me for this. Um, and November, November time, he did start speaking to me about it and told me that I, he was gonna heal me. That's so exciting, Claire. And I think it's so important for people to realise that healing does take time. Even when you're assured that it's going to come, it doesn't always happen overnight. No. But how did your healing take place? What happened? So on the Friday, we were watching a um, meeting on Zoom and it was a healing meeting. Um, and at, at the end of it, I just had to go to sleep and I slept for about three and a half hours. The following day, we go, well, there was another one. So we like, we watched that. So we watched that to the end and then they broke off into groups on the Zoom. And a gentleman asked what I needed prayer for, I said, and the Holy Spirit came in power and healed me. I felt a burning and I was shaking um, and it was just so hot and wonderful. And you've been, you know, that's, yeah. that's what he said and everything calmed down. And uh, we were just jumping up and down, praising God for four hours. Wow. <laughs> I was running around the living room. <laughs> and do you have anything you'd like to share with those who are still waiting for their healing? Yeah, 
You had no doubts, did he? Yeah. You knew it was going to happen. Yeah. So, so yeah. God had told you this was going to happen. Yeah. Yes. So that's what you were holding on I to. Had a picture yes, he was. Well. And Mark had a picture of me walking into church. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, like I used to walk, you know, um, and that encouraged me to. It, it, it got he, to the place it. where faith was the only option. It wasn't any unbelief. That, yes. That's exactly where we were. It was It was obvious it was going to happen. It was like as if it was set up that way. So to give a comparison of the difference, the week before Claire's healing, she wanted to come to a meeting and I had to carry her up the stairs. And uh, obviously it's a bit embarrassing and whatever, but... <clears throat> now the following week she was able to walk with me and come up the stairs herself so I mean it's just so different it's amazing absolutely amazing